bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. The day has finally arrived. We are finally going to do the brickier bank. Uh, so without further ado, this is not going to be a normal build, by the way, uh, for reasons that I will explain in a moment. But uh, let's now open the... Pa Sorry, there should really be a drum roll. As we open, we open the packet of glory. Now, as you know, because this is a, a brickier bank, the plan was that I was going to be um, using my own bricks for this. Uh, but something occurred about, mm, I think it was about 10 days ago, and I got a message from uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, the, the VAR, the official uh, referee of Relax with Lego. It's one book. And uh, he said... Um, that he had ordered himself, I hate to use the word knockoff, but I'm going to have to use the word knockoff, a uh, version of um, this from uh, a place that is definitely not Denmark. And they erroneously send, sent him two sets. And so he has sent me, uh, completely free of charge, I should add, uh, how very generous and kind of you, Mr. Graham Triggs. He sent me uh, the second set that he was erroneously sent. So um, this is my first experience of building something with non-Lego bricks. Uh, this is, of course, my Lego instruction booklet, of course. Um, so we're going to give this um, a bit of a go here. Oh, that's interesting. That hair does not go with that person. Okay. Um, let me just have a quick look at the hair here, the hair situation. Oh, I see. That goes. Because if you see here, look, th this has never happened before. I have to completely assemble uh, the minifigures. So I'm just, uh, oh, yeah, that hair goes there. Who gets this hair? That hair goes there. Oh, that's that's green feet. Who gets purple feet? Oh, this is, okay, this is purple feet. That's purple feet. So who gets red feet? It must be this. Hmm. Oh, wrong legs there as well. Okay. Sorry, that he gets dark legs. This one gets light legs. Right, okay. Uh, without further ado, we're now going to assemble uh, the minifigures. Now, I've never, ever, 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 ever had to do this before. Um, I might have to concentrate before I even begin to start to get to club business, but we'll give it a go. Uh, righty ho. Um, now, there was some consternation um, amongst a lot of you. So look, hang on, before I get going with the... Look, you put that in there. And then... These go in here. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Right, what colour arms do you get then? I have to consult the front. Oh, you get white arms. Hmm. Right. Yes, yeah, sorry, so there's some consternation about... Um, what I proposed yesterday vis-a-vis -vis, that the Afawak minifigs shouldn't shouldn't really mix with well he's mar well he's marvellous um, 
what's your name? I think it's it's definitely Peter. I'm trying to work out what your surname is, Peter. Mm. Mm. I think you uh, no. I almost said Peter Pan then. No, Peter Saucepan. Yeah, all right. You're Peter Saucepan. You're Mr. Peter Saucepan. Mr. Saucepan. Yes. Hello. Hello, it, I'm looking for Mr. Saucepan. Yes, that's me, the bank manager, Mr. Saucepan. Is, is your name really Saucepan? Yes. Mm. How how come? I, I don't really know. I can't. I don't. I don't really want to talk about. Oh, all right. All right. Then. Oh, suit yourself. I'm having to. Um, I'm sorry. I haven't got to club business yet, but this sort of feels like it. It requires. Oh Lord, I mean, oh crumbs. Mm, where's his arms? Over there. Right, come on. Get, I mean, this arm doesn't want to go in. Oh no. Oh no. I can hit, literally hear you shouting, this wouldn't be happening with Lego. No, it wouldn't be happening with Lego. No. No. She might have to be armless, this one. Oh, no, there we are. That one's gone in. Right, come on. Is that in right now? It's still not in. It's in, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in. Um, I can also report that it has a very different feel, this plastic. It feels very different and it's quite hard to put my finger on it, but it feels, it's not as weighty, it feels lighter. Uh, and it doesn't quite have the, the glossiness, the glossy touch. Right, what's your name? I think you're called Prue. Uh, Peter Saucepan and Prue. Yep. Who's next? Yeah, sorry, I should. I should be. I should be trying to um, carry on with uh, club business here. So Gary Blair says, "Oh, I see. So it's okay for you to interfere with the professionals, is that it?" Now, as I say, there has been there has been some kickback to my suggestion about the uh, Affle Wax. Uh, minifigs not really hanging out with the um oh look it's this side again with with the professional uh apple wax and I, I just oh dear and i just want to make it very clear that the the modular minifigures are not they're not celebrities they then they're not uh that, that we're not we're not leaving them be because they're somehow better than the Apple Wax minifigures. No, 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 no. It's because I just feel they're at work. They're at work now. Then, what's your name? And why have you got a big rosette on you? What's your name? Pippi, 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 Pip, Pip, Pip. It's a Peter saucepan. Prue and Pip. Oh, can you see here? The, the, I, I, I'm kind of feeling like everyone's going to have a name that begins with P. Right. Yeah. By the way, I've got other news. Which I'll, I'll get to when I've finished these many figures. Hmm. I'm not happy about this arm. Right, okay, it's in. Oh, 
also look we get all the mini ah. <laughs> we get all the minifigs up front right okay right what's your name what's your name seems everyone's beginning with p philip philip right last one and then we'll get down to it Oh, what do you think of this, eh? Having to make your mini figs from scratch. I can, I mean, I can hear the tutting from here. Oh no, I mean that's that's just she's got bow legs. That's not right. I can imagine Professor Lego is probably throwing things at. I mean, that look, look, look at the state of that. That's a gusset and a half, isn't it? This is, this is tricky. I'm glad I don't have to do this with the Lego minifigs. Oof. You can, uh, uh, it's like a workout. I'm not doing, I seem to have an awful lot of extra hands that I don't need. Right. Right, what's your name? Petra. Petra. Okay. So we've got um Peter Saucepan, Prue, uh Pip. P uh Pip Pip uh Philip and uh Petra. Petra. Okay, right. Now, before I start, before I get going on the rest of, of, of this shambles, uh, I have built the Boba Fett helmet. Let me show it to you because this is, the, this is our next giveaway. Whoops, this is our next giveaway. Um, and I have to say, it was an absolutely brilliant build. Really, really, really lovely. Um, so whoever gets that, I can tell you, even if you don't like Star Wars, um, it's a tremendous little kit. Really, really good. Anyway, you can win that. Um, I have filmed it for you and I'll be putting uh, those up there. Non-talking, non very quiet um, uh, builds and I will put those up over the course of this week. Uh, for the Patreon gooses and then once the Patreon gooses have enjoyed them I'll um, put them up for everyone else right okay here we go uh, Gary Blair where has Dame Dawn gone next breath Georgie Gobbon has got a skip oh how dare you <laughs> dare you even suggest it there's absolutely not a chance in pecking who that uh, Dame Dawn French, our beloved Dame Dawn French, would end up in a skip? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. No, she was... Oh, no. Okay, all right. I was about to panic then. Um, she was just off being naughty. That's what happened there. By the way, we've got lots of tiling today, of course. I don't know how much we'll get through because it's already taken practically 15 minutes just to put the minifigures together. Everybody very much enjoyed the halftime show yesterday. I'm glad you did. Do you think, should we get, should we get Dame Dawn out now? Come on, you've, you've done the time uh, for the crime, so you can come out now. Yeah, I know, come on. No, don't fall head first into the toilet dawn oh good grief oh oh that's, what an undignified exit uh anyway how are you <coughs> you're sorry for what you did <coughs> are you sure <coughs> all right go on then off you go you're going to go stand down there No, no, I'm not going to let you go on the pedestal because you've you've just got out of jail for being bad. I, I think if we have a couple of good days from you, 
Dame Dawn, then I will think about you going on the pedestal. <laughs> I promise you nothing. Well, let's see if she can behave, shall we? Um, <coughs> Gillian B. Oh, by the way, Eric Oswald has made a brilliant, 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 brilliant um, little recording of the Gillian B song. And if I had, if I will play that tomorrow, I'll play it in tomorrow, okay? But you're going to love it. Anyway, Gillian B. We thought you were some kind of, we didn't think you were some, sorry, but <sighs> didn't think you were some kind of, and it turned out you was from Canada. It's Jaelia B. Ooh, oh, Befter for that halftime show, eh? What an excellent cell block tango escape. More of that lovely quarter round tile detail. Yes, correct. Uh, Gary Blair says, Do you know what? Uh, I've resisted saying this for, for ages, but the prof's voice makes my teeth grind and my bum hole clench. There, said, Could you be any ruder? <coughs> Don't be so rude, Gary Blair. Rude. How rude. Just rudeness. Absolute rudeness. I love Prof Lego's voice. So, in your face. In your actual face. It's not quite the, gl the, the the smooth glide I'm noticing. Um, still, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Eric Oswald. The A Moose Once Bit My Sister is a Monty Python reference. The opening credits of Monty Python and the Holy Grail with its sudden Swedish art film credits. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. I forget these things. Uh, Gary Blair, fab halftime show. Surely, though, Ripper Price should be incarcerated too for facilitating the break she can. I do believe, um, although we will have an adjudication on this, I do believe um, if you're a golden goose, you cannot be sent to jail. I, d I do believe that, that that may well be the... Unless, unless the goose requests it. If the goose requests incarceration... Uh, for the experience, and of course, the goose's um, wishes can be accommodated. But um, I, I, I think gooses are, are immune. I mean, we'll have an adjudication on that, please, uh, from Mr. Graham Triggs, please. An adjudication, please, from Mr. Graham Triggs. An adjudication, please. Can golden gooses be sent into the Athelwerk Alcatraz? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so far so good. One, two, three, four. Well, you know what I'm like when there's a bit of tiling involved. I just sort of go into a reverie and forget about all of you. Um, I, I, I'll come back, I'll come back. Uh, Gary Black. Re your new uh, heinous segregation musings. Does this mean we can only cop off with other Afflewax? You shouldn't be getting off with other Afflewax minifigs. Anyway, th this is, this is about, like, th these people here have a job to do. Okay, they, they are the professional minifigs. We we are the oh, sorry, John Perry, so we 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 we're the Afwak gang. We we nothing to, nothing to do with this lot. They they're they're at work. We're not at work. We're having fun. We're mucking a boot. Uh, Eric Oswald. Ooh, I got to see a lot of the other builds in the halftime show. Nice. Uh, Noreen 
another rain column. Uh, you might give away the London dot 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 dot. Uh, oh, have you? Did you not realise I meant uh, the London? You know the architecture set that I did. Sorry, I'm just pulling up my shirt, my, my shorts. Do you know what the problem? I'll tell you what the problem here is today. I shall be brutally honest with you, gang. Um, I've already been in here for two hours doing the Boba Fett build. Um, and so I'm now into like hour, hour three or even slash four of uh, doing Lego today. Ba -ba 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 right, Twitter business. I must get that up and running. Do 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 Right, okay, here we go. Eric Oswald says, wait, wait, he says. I could become a professional medifig. Is there a union and benefits? What are the requirements? They must be made only from Legos and not Chinese knockoffs. <coughs> Can one also become a professional tinker toy? Well, um, I think you become a professional, a, a professional minifig when when you are hired. Uh, to go and work in a modular. You know, like like Peter Saucepan. He's he's doing he's got a job to do. He's got he's gotta be Peter Saucepan, the bank manager. I mean I'm assuming he's the bank manager. Um bum 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 Well what do I think about the quality the, the, the they it they doesn't sit as nicely. I'm definitely noticing that the lack of sort of shiny, shiny gloss on this. Do 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 do. Sorry, I'm just in a complete tiling reverie. I haven't forgotten about it. I have a bit. Look, you see, it's still lovely, isn't it? It's still there's still loveliness to be had there. Oh, hang on. I've got to carry on up here. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to have a lot to say about the fact that this is a this is not a, a official Lego kit. But I will refer you once again to the fact that it was Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee, uh, who sent it to me. I, I didn't even buy it. Right. It's already looking pretty super. Um, Mr. Graham Triggs, the far the official referee of Lex with Lego. I knew that Dame Don French couldn't be trusted. Squeaky breakout, squeaky breakout. Uh, Dawn French. Uh, I was framed, and anyway, she sprung me for 100, but I was prepared to go to 500. Ha ha ha, on her. What absolute boinger. You're not satisfied with being the naughtiest minifig that is that we have on the haunted table. 
uh, but you're now trying to rub Joanne Price's face in it, honestly. If you're not, what did I say to you? I need two days of good behaviour from you. Sorry, I'm pointing with my finger. I need two days of good behaviour from you, uh, Dawn French. And then we might think about putting you on the pedestal. But any more of this back chat and cheekiness, and it's not going to happen. Do you understand? see how you get on shall we uh gary blair uh i've just worked out who you and little sue remind me of oh it's sherry lewis and lamb chop i mean i take that as a great compliment to be honest uh scrub down scrub down let's check this one uh, she says oh john french what 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 the hecking who have you done with joanne bryce what the hecking who no, I mean, to be fair, she didn't touch her. Do, 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 Absolute tiling reverie. Um, Eric Oswald. I, I watched the Relax episode with Sue Perkins as a guest. Left until I heard. I could not figure out what you were building and why it had manacles. Slave holder ship. Then a window is at it. So I thought it was the red light district. Still, great laughs. Yeah. Episode, the infamous episode 33. Infamous, it's infamous. Uh, but this mustn't. Uh, she's very insistent that everything on its last legs has to go in the skip. <clears throat> has she tried to throw you in yet? <laughs> Absolute boing. Sorry, I didn't give Be Mr. Bevis Mustn his full, full title then. Uh, Bevis Mustn, like a strawberry, the sensei, Bevis the butter, the moody, me, the little whispers. Uh, he says, I suspect a moose once bit my sister is the Swedish art film, Sigh. All spiders are called Spidery Dave. Do you remember nothing? No. If Tim ever gets bored of his not a pirate hat, then I'll quite happily swap mine with him if he wants. I quite fancy being not a pirate. My current hat is good, but it hasn't got a skeleton on it. Hmm. Well, we'll think about it, Bevis. Aside from stated issues with the baby squid brown, a rather lovely set all in. Plus, for such a small floor plan, it's got a fairly impressive amount of detail going on inside. Yeah, I have to say, uh, I really loved Corner Garage. I thought it was absolutely great. Really, really like it. And actually, um, next to the other mod modulars, that, that uh, uh, the colour of the walls, it, it looks really, it stands out. It's great. It's good. It's good. Voila. No half-time show today, by the way. FYI, just in case you're thinking, oh no, Emma, you're late for the half-time show. There isn't one today. No half-time show today, guys. Mm. I'm sort of intrigued because a lot of you were were worried that I that there were special pieces at the beginning of this set that would make make it was difficult for me to build with my with my own own tiles. But I have to say, so far, uh, I haven't come across anything that I wouldn't have been able to find, I must say. Uh, Eric Oswald, I think we need little Sue to read some Dr. Seuss. Uh, Ruth Hayes, I concur. Hmm. Well, s send, send in some bits and we'll see if little Sue will recite them. But uh, will, you, will, will you do those uh, for us, little Sue? Yeah, um, I, 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 I'll recite anything that anyone 
things in for me to recite as long as it's not filthy dirty so I'm not looking at you Jackie Swan and Gary Blair that's right you tell them you tell them little so honestly they, they, they're filthy dirty I, I know they are <laughs> I know but for, for very different reasons and also in very different ways yeah yeah, I would, I would agree with this. Uh, wrong, wrong tiles there. Yeah, you, you get a lot of things wrong, don't you, when you're talking to me? Shush. Just, just pipe down. We haven't got to you yet, so just. Oh, by the way, also look at this. Look. Yeah. It's different, isn't it? It's different. It's different. Uh, back to uh, uh, Professor Lego. Uh, now for today's poll, courtesy of Eric Oswald. Should we rehome Spencer the Spider? Vote now. Uh, in third place with 15% uh, was Let's Find a New Home. In second place with 35% is push Spencer off table. But in first place, with 50% of the vote, is let him be. Oh, well, there you go. Spidery Dave. Uh, you get to uh, stay where you are, so that's a result. That's a result. No action required. I can't believe how long it took to put those lot together. Can you? Can you? Felt like felt like we were here for about three days. Just sticking them blinking arms in. No, hang on a minute. Yes, that's actually correct. Oh, look, look at the tails, at the tails. Uh, little Sue, she's called Little Sue. She's little. She's called Sue. Little Sue. Hello, it's me, Little Sue. Hello, Little Sue. Uh, hello, Emma. Um, does Tim Goff? I've got a question about about Tim Goff the pirate. Well, he, can, well, he says he's not a pirate. Yeah, I don't know if I believe him. Do you? No, I don't. I'm not sure. But we can't. We can't. You know, accuse people of fibs and things, Little Sue, without. Without evidence. But he's wearing a blinking pirate hat. Who wears a pirate hat on this? Oh, a pirate. I mean, it's a compelling argument. Anyway, what do you want to say about Tim Goff? Well, I wanted to know if Tim, if Tim Goff has some kind of very small rifle slung round the front of his, his shoulders. His, his not a pirate hat looks like it might need a feather. Or something similar, poking out the side. Hmm. Well, all right. Okay. Come, come forth. Uh, come forth, Tim Goff. Uh, come forth. Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, little, little little Sue's got a question about uh, what you're wearing across your chest. Um. Not really. Nothing to do with being a pirate then. Um, no, no. Um, little, little Sue is wondering. Uh, he, she thinks that there should be a feather poking out the side of your pirate's hat. I'm not wearing a pirate's hat. I'm not a pirate. Hmm. Tell you, tell you what, Tim. You, you just, just, just stand there a minute. Uh, you just stand, stand. You just, you just wait there a minute, uh, please. Just, just wait there. Um, you just, uh, you just wait there a minute, please, Tim Goff. Just, uh, oh, there we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just uh, hang on a minute there, please, Tim. Just. Hang on a minute. Oh, I almost had it then. You just hang on there a minute. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Yeah. He's definitely not a, definitely not a pirate, then, 
noisy, but I'll just um is hmm. what what have you done? Oh no nothing. Nothing. Right, oh, oh, can I go like that? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. What do you think of that little thing? I mean, it's very suspicious, isn't it? Yeah. It really, it really is. A, b a bit a bit of old leather. I mean, who's he trying to fool? Does he does he take us for fools, Emma? Yeah. Mm, it's it's entirely possible that he does. Yes. How dare he? How very very dare he? Mm, well, I, I just I, I don't think it's, it's it's worth getting cross about. If I'm being honest, little Sue. I'll, I'll let it. I'll tell you what, Emma. I'll be reasonable. I'll let it go. All right. I'll let it. I'll let it go. Yeah. I think that's for the best, to be honest. Uh, Eric Oswald says uh, it. It might be a sack over his shoulders for holding any ill-gotten booty. Uh, Tanya now dressed it, uh, or or a dead parrot. Uh, uh, Tim Goffin says uh, um, I. I. I put the parrot back. It was still flappy when I tied it to a perch, but its beak had gone a bit blue. T tied it to a perch? Hmm. I don't really know what's going on. I'm being brutally honest. Uh, Professor Lego. A moose once bit my sister. Is that the same actor as from the hot hands of an Oslo dentist and the huge molars of Horst Nordfink? Mm. 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 Oh, I, I see. I think you're all just quoting Monty Python now. I'll leave you to it. We've got tiling to do. Look. Shh. Everyone be quiet. We've got tiling to do. We're still doing tiling. Just look at it. We'll do some, we'll do about five more minutes of time. There's absolutely no way I'm getting through club business today. That's for absolutely sure. Uh, Rosie Lee says, "Oh no, they say it's always the quiet one. You need to watch out for excellent halftime show as always, Emma. And well done to you for the music, which was brilliant." Um, Ruth Hayes can't tell you how much I love this build and now I want it so very much. It was absolutely glorious. It was glorious. Uh, Walter Nessons, I think this has to be my favourite halftime show ever. Mr. Trick not calling it busted out though, seeing as it involved Joanne Price. Oof. Boing. That's an absolute boing. That's a big boing. Um, hang on. Uh, 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 Pink Lady says, Oh, Emma, I couldn't help thinking of this when you were describing yourself sitting there on your deck chair barely able to see over the table. I mean, that wasn't, honestly, it wasn't even the half of it. And then, and then she got she got stuck in the chair. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd like that bit, little Sue. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. Um, Madre Naissance. I notice this segregation idea has only occurred to you since I held hands with Blaze. <laughs> Verbs, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't got a clue. Not a clue. Not a clue. Those really? I didn't know. I didn't. I hadn't noticed. Well, Renaissance. I hadn't. Hadn't noticed at all. Yeah, right. It's lovely, isn't it? I mean, it's lovely. It feels very different, but it's still lovely. Um, Tim Goff, uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, coal bunker in the roof. There's such an afterthought in so many new builds these days. I'm concerned 
that you accidentally use it as a stairwell, though. Yeah, no, that's quite possibly. Hey, I'll tell you what, Emma. Yeah. What is it? I absolutely loved the halftime show today. I absolutely loved it. I couldn't have loved it more. Please, please, will you, will you do some more of them? Little Sue, I, I, I've been doing heaps of them, for goodness sake. Heaps of them. Absolutely heaps. But yes, I will keep doing them, don't worry. There'll be more. And I tell you what, honestly, if you have an idea for a half-time show and you want me to do it, then just send it in. Just send it in and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Hang on a minute. Have I done that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, we can turn the page. <gasps> oh my goodness, superness coming up. Uh, oh gosh, there's some good bits coming up. Oh Lord above. Oh, I'm, th oh, I'm excited. Um, Pink Lady, thoughts from an architectural historian. Now, sadly, we haven't got the building in front of us, but you'll just have to sort of look, remember it, right? Imprint that in your, in your noggin. Okay, back to Pink Lady. The completed corner garage gives us a well-proportioned building with good details, which are of greater interest than one would expect for what is essentially a utilitarian structure. The colourful facade and oversized cornice with its simplified and enlarged geometric elements between the gently curved brackets recall postmodern buildings of the 1980s, which fits well with the earlier 20th century elements to the ground floor and garage. An impressive design, making the most of its corner plot. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done, lovely, 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 lovely. Um, oh, Jackie Swan is also unhappy with the seg segregation. Like it's not segregation. It, it, I can't. It, I, I'm, I'm not explaining it very well. I, th this is clearly what's happened here, but it's that it is closest to uh, when you're on. As I said before, when you're on set and there are people there who have got a job to do, they're the they're the actors. They're actually doing a, a you know. A very responsible job. It's about responsibility. And the modular uh, minifigs have responsibility. They're, they've got responsibility. We, we've got no responsibility. We're just mucking about. That's all we're doing. We're just mucking about. Yeah. Thank you. But you know, if you, if you, if you want to carry on hanging out with the with the with the uh, the modular minifix, then okay, I'll you know I'll I'll reassess the situation. I think that goes there. If I've got that wrong, I'm in big trouble. Just saying. Um, uh, Kid for Dolbert. Oh no, oh no. Uh, he's also, I'm not keen on the segregation policy you've come up with, the professional minifigs and the rest of us. Don't think I didn't notice that Joanne Price and Dame Dan French got on the back of the bus too. Well, it was a route master, so as Bev Bratton quite rightly points out, but uh, you know. Uh, brilliant halftime show, says Ruth Hayes, but blimey, the opening credits and incidental music are blinking loud. If, like me, you've got your earplugs in. Cue mad scramble with volume button. Alan Harwood uh, agrees, it says, um, I, I, Dorissa, I know Ruth. I think 
the general volume is too low compared with the rest of YouTube, we have to have an emergency red panic button set to mute and a back backup foot stomper in case of an errant initial lunge. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a tricky one, this. Because I, I lower uh, the music uh, by masses. Like, I've, it goes down to, like, the normal music, I think, is, is at 10%. Um, but, yes, I'll, I'll have a look at it, but sometimes it's, it's tricky to get the balance right. I do appreciate this. Uh, Faye says, well. <laughs> she says, well, isn't Joanne Price a sneaky one? Well... Not really. I mean, she, she did she did bust a national treasure out of the uh, uh, Af Afawak uh, Alcatraz. So you know, uh, I love absolute, absolutely love how you expanded the halftime show to make use of so many brilliant sets as backdrops. I think this is likely your finest work yet. Bravo! Thank well, thank you. Uh, Jack Swan's a brilliant halftime show. Yeah, thank you, uh, Katie Hall. Um, Emma, weren't you the warden on duty when this jailbreak happened? Way to go, Joanne Price. What an adventure, worth whatever punishment Mum and Dad gave you. Hmm. <laughs> Alan Harwood says, OMG, uh, dramatic. No, he's not, he's not, he's not Gary Black. He's from Doris, Doris at. In cinema soon, the Dawn Shank Redemption 2, The Price of Freedom. Press release courtesy of the Dorset Foreign Legion Irish Affiliated Branch. Well, yeah, thank you. Uh, and you would, oh no. Oh no. So, put up, half time show, well done, dim dan, Joanne Price, Rosie Lee, and Dimmer, my favourite so far. You sound like a chicken. I can't apologise enough. That concludes club business. Right, just in time too, because we'll. We, I'm going to do this little bit of tiling, and then I think I will draw to a close for today. This is very nice. Well, I've never done tiling like this before, so this is super. By the way, if you're wondering why I didn't do a null, a proper null, I, it doesn't, it, I don't know if, I can't remember if I said this at the beginning, but it doesn't feel right when it's not proper Lego, so, no, no, I think only proper Lego should get a null. Also, this is the Brickier Bank, so we are supposed to be, um, turning this into a bit of our own, but anyway, isn't this lovely? 
Isn't that nice? Look at that. That's adorable. I love that. Um, anyway, right, I think that's us done for today. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow for the next part of the Brickier Bank. <laughs>